the cell cycle, divide, grow and redivide. Well, this video talks about the cell cycle which is an ordered series of events involving cell growth and cell division that produces two new daughter cells. Cells on the path to cell division proceed through a series of precisely timed and carefully regulated stages of growth, DNA replication and division that produces two identical cells. A cell cycle is a series of events that takes place in a cell as it grows and divides. A cell spends most of its time in what is called interface and during this time it grows, replicates its chromosomes and prepares for cell division. The cell then leaves interface, undergoes mitosis and completes its division. The resulting cells known as daughter cells each enter their own interface and begin a new round of the cell cycle. As seen in the diagram, the interface itself has three phases. The first growth phase G1, synthesis phase S and second growth phase G2. Coming over to the first growth phase G1, also called as the gap 1 phase, is the first of the four phases of the cell cycle that takes place in eukaryotic cell division. In this part of interface, RNA and proteins are synthesized, the volume of cytoplasm increases, mitochondria and chloroplasts divide, these two organelles they have their own DNA. In late G1 phase, all cells must follow one of the two paths. They may either withdraw from the cell cycle and enter a resting phase R or start preparing for the next division by entering the next synthesis phase. The S phase of a cell cycle occurs during interphase and is responsible for the synthesis or replication of DNA. In this way, the genetic material of a cell is doubled before it enters cell division, allowing there to be enough DNA to be split into daughter cells. G2 phase or GAP2 phase is the third sub-phase of interphase in the cell cycle directly preceding mitosis. It follows the successful completion of S phase during which the cell DNA is replicated. G2 phase is a period of rapid cell growth and protein synthesis during which the cell prepares itself for mitosis. All the nuclear changes that occur during cell division are collectively termed as karyokinesis. Karyokinesis is followed by the division of cytoplasm known as cytokinesis. During the mitosis, the cell divides its copied DNA and cytoplasm to pick two new cells. Mitotic phase involves two distinct division related processes, mitosis and cytokinesis. In mitosis, the nuclear DNA of the cell condenses into visible chromosomes and is pulled apart by the mitotic spindle, a specialized structure made out of microtubules. Mitosis takes place in four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. I have already talked about the four phases of mitosis in my first video. Let us recapitulate what actually happens in prophase. Centrioles start moving apart and reach opposite poles. Chromosomes become distinct. Chromosomes are already duplicated as paired chromatids. Sister chromatids attach to each other at a small region called centromere. Spindle fibers appear between daughter centrioles forming the achromatic spindle. And nuclear membrane and nucleolus disappears. Now comes the metaphase in which each chromosome gets attached to spindle by its centromere and chromosomes they line up in one plane at the equator. 
In the anaphase stage, centromere attaching the two chromatids, they divide. The two sister chromatids of each chromosome separate and are drawn apart towards opposite poles pulled by shortening of spindle fibers. And it is important to note over here that a furrow starts in the cell membrane at the middle in the animal cell. In telophase, two sets of daughter chromosomes, they reach the opposite poles. Spindle fibers disappear. Chromatins thin out in the form of chromatin fibers. Nuclear membrane is formed. The clevage furrow starts deepening in the animal cell and nuclearly reappears. Coming over to cytokinesis, which is the division of cytoplasm. Clevish furrow deepens totally in animal cell and separates the two daughter cells. Now, a question comes to our mind. Can the cell cycle go on endlessly? Of course not. At some places, it stops permanently. At some places, temporarily. And at others, till it is needed. There is a regulatory mechanism for cell cycles. Uncontrolled non-stop cell cycles may lead to tumours that may or may not be cancerous. It is important to know over here that brain and other nerve cells, once formed in the embryo, do not divide further. Once dead, they are not replaced. Talking about liver cells, they may divide only once every one to two years to replace damaged or destroyed cells. Surface skin cells are continuously lost and replaced by the underlying cells. A large portion of household dust contains human skin cells. The powdery material that comes off from your skin on scratching or on hard rubbing while bathing contains same dead cells. In plants, the cells at the growing points, called as meristems, divide very rapidly and produces new leaves, buds and flowers. Please like and subscribe to my channel Study with Ratna.